if it's July, it must be Christmas, or at least time for our annual Christmas in July challenge. Hello, everybody. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And this is day 20 of our annual Christmas in July challenge. Wow, two thirds of the way through, folks. Now, today I'm going to talk about starting early because you know if you start early, it's easy. And when you start early, you can give the lucky recipient of your gifts a basket filled with the things they love. For example, if they're a crafter, look for craft supplies. I found a cute, I'll put a picture of it at the end, cute little vintage Semco pattern book with crochet trims in it in an op shop for a dollar. Now, I love it. It's classic 1950s, gorgeous. If I add it to a, just a small basket with a ball of crochet cotton, which is about under $3, and a couple of crochet hooks that I can get at the op shop for about 50 cents each, I will have a beautiful gift for well under um, $8. And it's a favourite things gift basket. That's what I'm calling it, a favourite things gift basket, because the person I'm giving it to loves crochet. Crochet is her favourite thing. If you collect samples all year long and use them to put spa baskets together, then you've got that to use as a gift. You know, you can collect the little perfume samples from department stores, perhaps not so much while we're in lockdown, but you can. Save the little motel soaps. Look for mini versions of full-size products. You'll often find them at $2 shops. If you add them to a little basket or box or a pretty tin or even a really cute little makeup purse, you have a favourite thing spa hamper for almost nothing. Gifts don't have to cost a lot. And when you tailor them to your um, recipient's favourite things, they're super special. You can create a favourite things gift basket for a child by filling it with pencils or gel pens or textures or crayons or, you know, shaped rulers and coloured paper and cardstock. You could print some colouring sheets from their favourite things. Um, boys might like tractors or girls might like ballerinas or they might like kittens, whatever, and add them to the basket. But it doesn't have to be a basket. It has to be... It could be um, something as simple as a box or it could be a bag and you can make a bag really easily out of an old tea towel or an old, sorry, old um, repurposed tea towel or repurposed pillow slip. Really simple to do. You don't need to spend a lot of money when you think about putting together someone's favourite things. If you've got a coffee lover, you could do a favourite things coffee um, pack. And over on Cheapskates Club website, there are some really, really easy but super delicious ideas for flavoured coffees that you can do. If you're going to do them, start now. So they've got time, the beans have got time to flavour up. And by Christmas time, they will be superb. Yes, you need to think about a favourite things type gift. But if you take the couple of minutes to think about it and think about your friends or family's favourite things, you will have so many choices to add to a favourite things gift basket for them. You'll have gift ideas for years ahead. Oh, the baskets. Well, they don't need to be baskets. As I said, they could be boxes, they could be bags, they could be um, tins, they could be pillow slips, they could be wrapped in a tea towel, depending on what it is. And they don't need to be new. Just make sure that they're clean and in really good condition. Your gift giving is done and you're giving someone their favourite things in a gift hamper and it's within your gift budget. If you know someone who might like our Christmas in July challenge or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, please click on the share button underneath me here and it will send them a link. And I'll be back tomorrow with another great Christmas in July tip.
brought to you by the Cheapskates Club.